Despite a statistical preference for humans, the doctor had non-human companions or at the very least, companions who were not from Earth or descended from its people. This included the first doctor's earliest companion, Badger, an avatroid that helped raise him as a child in the house of Lungbarrow. The non-human companions the doctor traveled with usually had the outward appearance of a human or time lord. On at least three occasions they traveled with members of their own species. The longest serving were his granddaughter Susan Foreman, TV, an unearthly child et al. Romana, TV, the Rebo's operation, et al., and John and Jillian Who. Comic. The Klepton Parasites. Lady Serena was significant as well, for sacrificing her life in service to the doctor's goals. Pros. World game. Other human-like individuals with whom they adventured included, but certainly weren't limited to. Trachonite Nyssa. TV. Logopolis. Alzarian Adric. TV. Full Circle. Tryon Visler Turlo. TV. Modron Undead. And Astrid Peth from Santo. TV. Voyage of the Damned. On occasion, they were accompanied by obviously non-human species, like Wifferdals, Comic, The Shapeshifter, Ice Warriors, Comic, Descendants, Oblivioners, Comic, Bad Blood, Udermsons, Audio, The Creed of the Chromon, Vesicans, Comic, Think Twice, and Cyber Converted Humans. Comic. The Company of Thieves, during her time working for the Division, the fugitive doctor had a looper companion named Carvanista. TV. Once, upon time, the Vanquishers, artificial life forms sometimes traveled with the Doctor, as well. Clearly, K9 was the Doctor's most beloved robotic companion, given the number of models the Doctor built, TV, the invasion of time, school reunion, a girl's best friend, and the pleasure the Tenth Doctor displayed when he re-encountered a version of the robot. TV, school reunion, the wedding of Sarah Jane Smith, the Doctor seemed empathetic to artificial life forms with errors in their programming. The Fifth Doctor once effectively euthanized an android companion in irremediable distress. TV, Planet of Fire. Shortly before his time on Trenzalore, the Eleventh Doctor obtained a Cyberman head he named, Handles. Handles aided him greatly with technological assistance, being his only real companion during his first 300 years on Trenzalore as he'd sent Clara Oswald home and everyone he cared about that lived there eventually died. After 300 years, Handles died of old age, reducing the Doctor to tears. TV, The Time of the Doctor. The Twelfth Doctor teamed up with a Dalek named Lumpy to collect the Orb of Fates and stop the Daleks, Cybermen and Santarans from controlling the Starbane. However, it turned out that Lumpy had tricked the Doctor at the very beginning of the adventure. Game. The Doctor and the Dalek. His later companion, Nardal, was humanoid, but explicitly not human. He was at least partially cybernetic. TV, the pilot, harbored a distaste for humans, TV, smile, the doctor falls, and was only, human enough, because the doctor had gotten his lungs cheap. TV, the pyramid at the end of the world, 